So this is what we call the flying dish trick. Very simple, it is a frisbee that your dog is going to catch. Good girl. So to start off with, we want to get them interested in the frisbee um, and touching the frisbee. A lot of them are plastic, they feel funny uh, in the dog's mouth, so we want to build up their confidence with wanting to have it in their mouths. So to start off with, we just get them interested uh, and we ask them to get it in their mouth. Yes! As soon as it's in the mouth, we reward for it being in the mouth. Good girl. Ready? Yes! Good girl! Yes! Ready? Ready, 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 ready. Get it! Yes! Good! So I'm introducing a command word for her, which is get it. Ready? Ready? Get it! Yes! Good girl! So the next stage is building up for the catch. Now, someone come. This is all about making it very straightforward for your dog. This isn't about making it complicated, throwing it for miles, good girl, because they'll soon lose interest and not be able to do it. So, ready, catch it. Oh, nice try. So because she tried, I'm still gonna reward her. I've got to build up her confidence. So she's gonna get one treat um, or part of a treat if she tries to catch it and misses. If she catches, she gets what we call the jackpot, which means she gets lots of treats. So let's try again. Ready? Catch. Oh, good girl almost. Good girl. Try again. Ready? Sit. And catch. Almost. Good girl. Ready? Catch. Almost. Good girl. Try again. Oh, good girl. That was a nice try. Now, as I know that she's confident with this, I'm going to stop rewarding her for trying. She's only going to be rewarded now for the catch itself. Good girl. And the idea is it's going to make her concentrate a little bit harder on what she's doing. Ready? Yes! Good girl. That was a nice catch. So she's got her jackpot of treats. Now, that would count for your trick. This isn't about making it overly complicated for the dog. However, if you want to build up the distance and become a professional uh, disc artist, uh, then it's about, again, making it straightforward for the dog. You need to give enough time in the air for the frisbee that the dog can get under it and catch. So, good girl. Ready? Ready. Oh, nice try. So she tried, we're trying something new, making it harder, so I'm still going to reward her for trying. Ready? Catch it. Oh, good girl. Yay. And we'll try one more. So this again is all about doing short training sessions. Are we ready? Ready? Catch it. Good girl. So, good. If you could see there, she's trying to catch it with her feet instead of her mouth. That's why she's missing so often. So we go back to basics and we start teaching her about putting it in her mouth again. Get it? Yes. And that's what we're going to reward for. Good girl. So it's a slow progress, depending on your dog's ability to catch. Don't push it too far. Don't suddenly start throwing it 50 foot away and expecting them to be able to catch it. Very simply, for your novice trick itself, all they need to do is catch the frisbee.